what is up what is going on this is david sva card collectors and i'm going to apologize for the audio i forgot my um headphones and so the quality as it's not the best in the world will be getting a little bit worse today and i'm sorry about that um pumped because i will be going to the knicks nets game thanks to one of my face group Facebook group members or flick chat group members, whatever the heck it is. One of the listeners. Ah, one of the listeners. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's right up my tukus, as the Jewish people say. Um, I am on a highway driving pretty quickly, and these guys are driving way faster than me, and I'm already going 75, 80. So I will move out of the way and go slowly. So, um, yeah. Thanks to Paul, I will be going to the game, and I will be cheering on my Knicks as they blow. They probably will lose and lose badly, um, but hopefully Mitchell Robinson's playing so I can at least see him, and hopefully he doesn't get hurt, but them's the breaks being a New York fan. Um, don't have a particular topic today, which is a terrible thing to say as a podcaster but it's the truth um this kid's kicking my butt and i am pretty tired most of the time and now that i'm staying home a little bit more i have to do some more more child rearing there's a lot of child rearing involved and has me doing it so um he don't stop eating he don't stop crapping and uh he just makes me stay up late um, but he sleeps a lot, but he doesn't sleep continuously. So, um, a lot of short intermittent breaks, intermittent. So there's that. Um, not too many things are coming out. You have Panini Prism football coming out today. Um, you, what was the other thing that came out? Nothing crazy. I was just looking at it and they have a bunch of like rinky thing stuff, like chasing Amy cards. Dude, that movie was, that movie was in the nineties. What are you going to get? An autographed card from Amy? Come on. Like, who cares about that? Well, whatever. Maybe I'm sure there's some collectibles because of uh, what's-his-face. Silent Bob directed that film, and he's in it. So uh, I do like him, Kevin Smith. I think he's he's really good. Uh, just like a down to earth type of person wherever I hear him on a podcast or interview or things like that. Um, but nothing crazy i know immaculate i believe immaculate collection for football is coming out so that's going to be the big one that everyone's going to collect to 99 i know national treasures as well well actually no national treasures is 99 immaculate collection is just it's a higher end card for football cards but everyone right now is not feeling the love for Daniel Jones, Kyle Murray is doing well, Dwayne Haskins ain't doing crap, there's really nobody else that's doing anything special, so um, it's not getting the love uh, like uh, 2018 did, where everybody and their mother was uh, playing quarterback right away and doing semi-okay outside of Josh Rosen. Boy, was he is he really a bust right now. I'm regretting spending mm, maybe close to 100 bucks on all the cards that I got of his um, it's a small gamble, and maybe he comes and does well, but I don't think so because even with the Dolphins, the Dolphins are like, you know what, might as well just go with Fitzpatrick. It's not looking too good for him. Um, but he hasn't played on a team that's been decent. They've just been really bad. Um, but Kyle Murray was playing with the same Arizona Cardinals, and he seems to be doing a lot better. So... Uh, time will tell, but it doesn't look good for him right now. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. There's nothing, you know, to be honest with you, the only thing I'm really looking forward to now for baseball, with regards to baseball, is um, is uh, Bowman Draft. That's the only thing. And they are raising the prices a lot from last year, which is ridiculous. I don't think it's something, I don't think it's a box that, or a case that you're going to want to break and try to resell right away. You might be able to get your money back or make some money, but I, I think it's, I, I just don't see it. I, I think, 
I know I did the interview with CRT a while back and he was talking about it and I, I got to agree with him because the base set isn't going to go up. It's not going to go higher because everyone's going to be, there'll be so much supply of it. You get one box, you're going to get the whole base set. Done. That's a wrap. So each box has a base set. So you spend $270 for the paper set. And it's all it's gonna be all about the chromes, the refractors, and the autos. This is a hit heavy, you know, this is a heavy hit, you know, card, a uh, box of cards. And I know they are talking about that the Martian from the Yankees, uh, who's a 16-year-old, um, I think where is he from? I, I, from the, I think he might be from Dominican Republic, or uh, he's from one of those from one of the islands. I'm not too sure, but he's you know they're calling the Martian because he's not from this world. They're saying he's just like Mike Trout, which is yeah, that's that's not high praise for a 16 year old. That shouldn't go to his head, but you know so that his card if it's in there may be worth a lot of money. But most of the guys it's going to be you know the number one draft pick, all you know all the top picks, and they're going to go for whatever they go. Um, and they do go for a ton of money in the beginning. They go for a lot of money, but then they drop down, you know, and then you'll see where everything falls, uh, next year and how they play. So I, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I think the better play may be to buy a couple of boxes and just store them and just hold them up. Um, because I think people are going to be looking to get their money back right away because they are spending a ton of money it is a lot of money and i think it may be good for next year because there'll be so much supply and i don't think demand will be there maybe it will be maybe i'm wrong and maybe everyone and their mother's gonna buy it and everyone's gonna be into it and everybody's gonna be going crazy for it but um i, I don't know i i just think it, it's it's like close to like a hundred dollars, seventy-five, a hundred dollars more a box pre-sale. So I, I don't know. I, I, I'm very iffy about it. I really am. Uh, you know, I, last year I was all for it. I bought five boxes and I made my money back and then some. And I still have a bunch of paper that paper sets that I haven't sold. I think I have three paper sets. I have a bunch of other you know Chrome autos that I just held because I'm just waiting for them to do something. But I don't see anything crazy. So um, that's it. I just have a little rant. I just, like I said, I always want to have one podcast out. Um, so there you go. There's my thoughts on uh, Bowman draft picks. So guys, head over to the website, svacardcollectors.com. Download the app, Flick Chat app. We're having good conversations there. Ask your questions. And that's really what also have a Facebook group, and that's what it's there for. Ask your questions. If you're afraid to ask stupid questions, this is the place to do it because there's a ton of stupid questions. No, it's just, it's just no one's going to think any less of you. No one's going to. That's the whole point of the group It's just to learn from each other because I made the same mistakes. I said the same thing. So um, you guys know what to do. Buy some cards and go broke. Later.